Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where today I am starting at Marco Island here with the Model Y, which is back over there. And this is going to be a fun one because I'm driving up to Orlando to meet Kyle, Alyssa, and their new puppy dog, Walter, who's just an amazing Newfoundland, black and white dog. He's like a cross between Ellie and Blue, and um, amazing. And But what we're also going to do is we're going to be riding electric jet skis today. And so that's pretty wild. And I said, well, you know what? I could drive the Model Y up there, but I've got something special because on the way up, I'm picking up a Toro. A lot of people have been criticizing me. Dave, too much Tesla content, too much Tesla content. Well, today we're gonna have something other than Tesla. So let's get into it. Okay, so as we start on this trek up to Orlando, first stop is going to be in Riverview, Florida, which is just outside of Tampa. As a matter of fact, I believe on our way down here, we uh, we charged there on the on the road trip. But today is interesting because I'm excited about picking up uh, a Toro. Toro, T U R O. For those of you who don't know, you can if you own a car, it cannot be a leased car. But if you own a car, you can rent it out to other people. And if you don't own a car, you can rent Toros. Now, I have Toroed many cars in my lifetime, and it's a great service when you find the right person who knows what they're doing. I always like to talk to the people who I'm renting from because you kind of get a feeling who you're dealing with that way. I spoke to the wife of the owner of this car, all set, picking it up, and... And I just texted her and she said that she's not going to be there. And she said, but no worries. I am going to be able to, I'll leave the keys. And she said keys in the car and she'll be able to open it remotely. Now this is an EV. So, and I'm excited to spend some time with this particular EV for a lot of different reasons. So I can't wait to get up there and and check it out and spend the day with it. I'm gonna return it on the way home tonight. I'm just day tripping up to see Kyle and Alyssa and the new pup. To the housing development where the Turo car is. I'm going to reveal it in a moment, but this is a beautiful spot. Look at this. They got the, the nice pool house here. They got a pool over there in the back. They got a, everybody's got their mailboxes here. And, you know, beautiful. Really, really nice uh, development here. I'm liking this. It's a 2021 Tesla. No, it isn't. It's a Porsche Taycan. Beautiful. This is the base model. I'm going to have this for the day, and uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful car, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to text the owner right now and get this thing unlocked. Again, like I said before, this is not the normal pickup. Normally, you'll have to, you know, prove who you are with your license with Turo, but uh, we've had a lot of communications offline, so let's go ahead. I'm going to text her. She'll unlock it remotely. And then I will get it. I like the spec. Beautiful, nice and clean. Look at this. Love the wheels. These are the aero wheels, but they look nice. And uh, you gotta love these headlights on the Porsche. You know, they got one, two, three, four. You can always tell from a distance at night um, whether or not uh, 
whether it's a Porsche or not. But look at this thing. I can't wait to spend some time in it. You know, a black, black, is this black or, yeah, is it black? I guess it's black, black. You know, the perfect, the perfect car for, for Florida. I hope it has cooled seats. I don't think it does. 285 40 R20s in the rear. Let's see if they're staggered. 245 45 20s. So you got a little bit more meat on the front tires, but uh, what's interesting, yeah, so definitely staggered. 245 45s in the front and 285 40s in the rear. So uh, nice staggered setup. Uh, for the wheels. So let's go ahead and text the owner. Yeah, something funny just happened. Here I am by myself, entertaining myself as I'm waiting for the owner to unlock the car. But I look at the sign over here and I'm like, come on, that's kind of weird. Like it, it says, oh, hell. And then when you, when you come over here, it goes, oh, hello there. <laughs> what a great, great front sign. I love that. All right, so I texted the owner, and and he actually unlocked the car, and the keys are inside. I'm just letting it, it's 90 degrees out. It's only about 11 in the morning. It's already 90 degrees. That's Florida. It's to be expected. So I'm just letting it air out a little bit, and then I'm going to get in, get my camera set up, and go see Kyle, Alyssa, and Walter. What a great day. Look, the Turo rental, I'm now in the Taycan. Let me turn on this, uh, let me turn on this back camera here so you can kind of see, maybe even the front one. So um, look, this car, the owner of this car delivered as promised. This car feels great. It's got 21,693 miles on it. It was delivered with a 93% state of charge. As a matter of fact, when I talked to the owner, I said, what state of charge are you going to deliver the car to me? And, and, and he said, you know, 100%. I said, listen, you know, you don't need to do that with me. Um, I appreciate that, but it's better for the battery if you give it to me at 90%. And he goes, oh, thank you so much for understanding. A lot of times my renters, you know, they want it at 100%, right? Oh, Got to be 100%. Not super good for the battery. This is not an LFP battery like my Model 3 rear wheel drive. So I said, look, just leave it at 90. And he goes, all right, I'll, I'll leave it right around 90. So I, when I got to the house, it was at 93% state of charge. Um, I texted him, he wasn't home. He unlocked the car, like I said, you know, I had sent him my license prior. Uh, he, um, he, he and I had spoken a number of times. So it was, it was all good, but you know, black, black. Um, I got the AC working here. I do need to learn the car a little bit, but that's a different issue. You know, me testing the car out, but from a Turo perspective, everything that I expected, this car is that and more. Minnesota plates, which is kind of fun. I guess, I don't know why. I don't really care, um, but it is what it is. So um, yeah, I'll check back later on when I return the car, check it in and drop it off. But you know, look, if you're in the market, for a higher end car and you can't rent one of these from a, a Hertz or an Avis. I mean, look, the, the, the big rental agencies, it's a lot cheaper to rent one of the mainstream cars, a Model Y, a Model 3, a, you know, even an EV6, Polestar. When I was in LA, I rented a Polestar. They had Polestar 1s there, not just Polestar 2s, which are rare cars. And, um, you know, so so ask the major rental car companies what they have in stock for renting. That's definitely going to be cheaper, I think, on average, to uh, get a car from them. And there are far fewer things that can go wrong when you're dealing with a major company as opposed to an individual. It's a little bit of uh, you got to be careful who you're renting from. And then on the other side of that, the inverse is that if you are renting or thinking about Toroing a car, I'm in no way, shape or form trying to endorse Toro. I, I legitimately just want to spend time with this car and it's really the only way that I can do it um, and, and not not have any kind of bias or anyone looking over my shoulder. Hey, you want to buy one? Right. So, you know, to me, this is the way to do it. But. 
there are a lot of risks if you're going to rent out your car on Toro. Uh, people can can abuse them. Uh, they they tell you that they that they will pick up the car at a certain time, and you know, look, even me, this morning I said nine o'clock. I ended up coming almost two hours late, and you know that's not that's not really the right thing that I did. I overslept this morning. I was up editing late last night, and you know, Hertz doesn't care about that, right? Avis, they don't care about that. But you, as a potential renter of a of your own car that you own, from a Turo standpoint, that could be a problem, especially if you're having to drop the car off and meet them in an airport or something like that. And then you know, a lot can go wrong with um, claims, right? So something happens to your car, they smoke in the car, who knows what they are smoking, you know, like in this day and age, it might not just be tobacco, right? And what are you gonna do? Then you have that cleaning fee. Now, I can tell you that when I, when I put my deposit down, it asked me for my insurance. And it said that if I gave Turo my personal insurance, I would save $250 on the deposit. So it would be $500 as a hold on the credit card if if I give them my my insurance or $750 if I don't. And you know, to be honest, I just rather not get my personal insurance involved with anything to do with this car. And so similarly, like if you use the platinum card it, when you're at Hertz or whatever, that card will cover any kind of insurance claims and it doesn't hit your your personal insurance. I just want to keep my personal insurance out of this particular rental. So, okay, take my $750 um, deposit and and then I'll get that back once they, they see the car was kept nicely, which I will do, absolutely, and bring it back at the proper state of charge, which I will try to do um, today. But... Not everyone is going to be necessarily as kind as I will be to this car and or any car that you decide to rent. And you really have to weigh the hassles that go along with renting on Toro versus the income of doing something else. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to really think about whether or not I would get back into the business of, and when I say business, I, I rented my Model X out for like three times. That was it, just to kind of learn the process. And, and it worked for me. It was fine. But if you do it a lot, it's just a matter of time before you run into somebody that either wastes your time, causes a headache for you in some unimaginable way, you know, and you got to sit there and say, do I really need that extra income in order to deal with that? And if you're the type of person that says, yeah, I do. And I really want to buy this car and I really want to own this car and this is going to help me get there. Then, you know, what? go for it. Right. You, you definitely can make money as a renter of cars on Turo, but just be careful. That's all I, 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 I say. So anyway, I'm going to spend the day with the car, go up and see Kyle and Alyssa and uh, Walter, the new pup. Can't wait to meet him, ride some electric jet skis, and then I'll return the car. I'll check in after uh, after I check back in. And anyway, but this uh, particular owner of the car, super communicative, car delivered as is, I'm happy so far. This has been, this is, this is great so far. All right, well, I'm gonna take a little break from cars for a moment, because I gotta meet Walter, this new pup, and I am so excited. He is so freaking cute. I've only seen pictures. Kathy and Katie both met Walter, but I haven't yet. So I am looking forward to meeting him right now. Apparently Kyle's in Walmart buying a bathing suit. You know, this is where he shops for his wardrobe, as we know. But uh, yeah. Oh man, Walter, I can't wait to meet you. Arrived. I know I'm arrived, but where are you, Walter? I don't know, I gotta call Alyssa.
Oh man, I just met Walter. He's so cute. He's amazing. I love him. When they're not looking, Kyle and, Kyle and Alyssa are in front of me in the Model 3 performance. When they're not looking, I'm gonna take them. I don't care if I go to jail. It'll be worth it. All kidding aside, that is a cute pup. And uh, it was funny, Kyle and I, we just got some lunch, some takeout and, and Alyssa. And uh, we all said, hold him now because pretty soon you're not going to be able to pick him up. Apparently he's going to get between 150 or 160 pounds. These uh, Newfoundlands are huge. And he does look like a bear. Um, uh, you know, these are the things that really matter in life. Cars are fun, but that living little creature, oh, so just melts my heart. It really does. All right, well, listen, someone's got to do it. So I get a call from Kyle. He says, Dad, come on up to Orlando. We're going to ride some electric jet skis. So I said, cool, that's great. Everybody's complaining about the fact all I do is Tesla content. So I drove the Model Y up to Tampa, and I rented this uh, gorgeous Taycan, the Porsche Taycan, just plugged in here at a 46% state of charge. It was 95 degrees out, and I was only pulling 111 kilowatts on this 350 over here. It didn't seem as though it was derated. This is a 2021 Taycan rear-wheel drive. It does have plug-in charge. I was able to pull 111, and it ramped all the way down. I'm currently at a 95% state of charge at about 50 kilowatts. Now, I understand these Taycans are supposed to be charging beasts up to 270 kilowatts, and they really hold their, their, their charging curve very strongly up to 50 kilowatts. I know that Kyle's gonna be doing some testing with a rear wheel drive Taycan against my Lucid out in, uh, in Colorado over the next week or two. And I, for one, I'm gonna be keeping a real close eye on the outcome of that. Anyway, I'm at this Love's here. I don't know where the heck I am, somewhere near Disney World. And uh, anyway, I got to go drop this car back off at the great place that I rented it from Turrell in Riverview, Florida. I would highly recommend if you are in the area and want to rent the, this is a black, black car. It does have air conditioned seats. Uh, it doesn't have Inno drive or lane centering. So that's one thing, but it's a great way to get out and check out this car. So, you know, good stop here. I just got an ice cream. I don't know. Thanks for dinner, Kyle. Appreciate it. It was great. I got to meet Walter today our new puppy in the family, out of spec puppy. There's a gorgeous puppy. So and you keep your eye open for that. Great day, epic day. All right, so just to put a ribbon on this Turo rental today, um, you know, great car, drove great. I was so happy that I was able to spend time with this Turo because, you know, what I was saying earlier um, on a different video that I've reviewed this car with Kyle was, was that I had driven a 2021 Actually, it was a 2020 uh, that was a Taycan 4S that was a car that Kyle had on loan from Porsche where he did set the Cannonball run record in that. And I, I spent time with that car um, a year and a half, two and a half years ago, something like that. That car did not have plug and charge. This one did. But, um, you know, enough about that. The Toro Experience this is this is a good thing just be careful out there if you're renting your car to others and and also i i wouldn't recommend skimping on the insurance if you're if you're planning on getting any kind of electric vehicle from you, you know uh like a, a standard electric vehicle the big cities have like la or new york they've got all the tesla model threes they've got the you know, uh, the Polestar 2s, they may even have a Polestar 1, EV6 I've seen. Uh, so, you know, grab those cars. But if you're in, you know, I don't know, Jacksonville, Florida, they may not have EVs, uh, you know, at the, at the local Hertz or Avis counter. So that's when you can rely on, on Toro and, and trying to get uh, something there. But be careful know who you're dealing with, reach out to them, see how communicative they are, and know that it's going to cost you a little bit more money. But if you're doing it for a special occasion or a special reason, 
you're thinking about buying a car, you want to spend some quality time with it and get to know it, that's the right way to use this car. So I'm just about 28 miles away from uh, where I'm going to be dropping this car off in Riverview, Florida. I do highly recommend uh, go search on Toro. I'm not going to name their, their names in, in particular, but uh, I, they're very communicative, super nice uh, family who owns this car. Again, this car has uh, about 22,000 miles on it, 21,800 miles. It's clean. It does smell like someone smoked in it, though, and it wasn't me. I don't smoke. Um, but that's okay because I'm not living with this car every day. Uh, but you know, look at the, it's, uh, it's been a great experience. I'll get this car dropped off and then I can, uh, I can start my, my trek back to Marco Island. It's about 8 45 PM now, probably won't get home until 11 or 1130 tonight, but what an epic day. Uh, again, thank you, my friends, my new Turo rental friends in Riverview, Florida. And thank you all for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave. If you're in the market to test out a, a rental EV, check out Toro. Not endorsing it, but I would recommend using it. Does that make sense? Anyway, have a good one, folks. Take care now. Bye-bye.